Today, me and Mike are going to share a quick tip on how we save money on trading. Basically, it revolves around currency trading accounts. And if I, for example, don't use one, every time I trade in a foreign currency, which is not Danish crowners, which is not a lot of companies in the world, I have to pay 0.5% if I don't have one. And if I have one, it's 0.15. So, so there's a big difference. Having the ability to trade in the currency of whatever company you're buying stock in helps us save a lot of money. And it works this way. Suppose that I, as a U.S. citizen, am buying shares in a company that is in a different country. And that country is headquartered in a different country. And they are based on that country's currency. I can trade in U.S. dollars through an American stock exchange. And there's going to be an exchange rate as the money changes. Now, if you're just trading a few shares, that doesn't really matter very much. But if you're moving a lot of shares, you want to take advantage of being able to trade in the home currency of that other company. And this will save you money. Here it's called having a currency account. Some countries in Europe call it a currency account. Wherever you live may have a different name for it. But you're taking advantage of a thing called arbitrage. Arbitrage is the difference in value between one thing and another. So for, in my case, the U.S. dollar versus, let's say, the British pound. Well, if the dollar today is worth more than a pound, I want to do my trading in dollars because I'm going to get more money, more value, more shares of that British company because it's trading in pounds and I'm using dollars. But if, the, if it's reversed, I want to trade in pounds. So being able to take advantage of those differences in currency is very good. What we never engage in and it's something if you want to do it, that's your business. We personally don't. There are arbitrage traders who move massive amounts of cash and they do it all. They're looking for a penny, two pennies difference between the two currencies so they can trade a lot of money. The reason we don't do it is it's extremely high risk and that's not something that we want to expose our clients to. But also for your long term investments, because let's say you have a certain amount of money invested for 30 years. Every year you get paid dividend or get paid dividend, you get charged that fee, that higher fee. So make yes. sure to either buy the investments in your own currency using a fund or some a fund ETF, something like that, or actually go out and use the currency account. I know over here in Europe, we have Saxo. They make it real easy. You can open as many as you want in as many different currencies as you want free of charge. So that's something for you folks to think about if, when you expand your investment horizon and start looking outside of your home country for investments. Make sure to like, subscribe, check out other episode of the podcast.